If you want to make sure that everyone can follow your stories, you need to make them accessible. Today, I'm going to talk about adding assistive text and video captions to your web stories. Let's start with assistive text. Many people are using screen readers when they use the web. In order for a screen reader to describe what is visible on an image or video, you need to add assistive text. Let's take a look at how that works in the editor. Here I have a page with an image of a plant. Click on the image and scroll down to accessibility in the design panel. And you'll see that because I'm using one of the web stories for WordPress templates, there already has been assistive text added. It reads green indoor plants. Now, green indoor plants is a very brief description of what's on the image. You can, of course, go into more detail and write something like a green indoor plant in a crock in front of a white wall. Or you write the actual name of the plant. Imagine someone can't see the image and you want to give them a proper description. When you work with assistive text and videos, it works in the exact same way. You click on the video and scroll down to accessibility in the design panel. And in this case, I'd write something like a video showing ground covering green ferns. Also, if you use an image that's purely presentational, like this green curved line here, keep the text fields empty. Describing this doesn't really add any important information for the users. Next up are captions. Captions are useful to viewers who have a hearing impairment or are in a situation where they can't listen to the audio. You can add captions when you click on a video and scroll down to captions and subtitles. Here you can upload a VTT file. You can easily create this kind of file yourself with a text editor or use a tool like VTT Creator to help you create these files. The most important part is that for each line of text, you use the right timecode so that the text of the caption knows when to appear or disappear. Check out the links in the description for more information. Finally, you don't have to keep all these things on your mind. The editor keeps them on your mind for you. Just click the checklist on the bottom left and click on accessibility and the editor will point to the pages where you maybe need to make adjustments. As always, I hope this was helpful and have fun creating stories. Thank you.